Good evening, this is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, QuakePrediction.com. It is 1029 in the evening on Tuesday, September 28th, 2021. 1029 in the evening on Tuesday, September 28th, 2021. We have an earthquake warning for Southern California and more specifically the Northwest portion of the Los Angeles area. Let's look at the map first of all. This area northwest of LA is the highest risk for a strong earthquake. Um, a 6.0 earthquake is likely and a 6.7 to 7.2 is possible. Um, let's look at uh, just recently, we had a couple uh, foreshocks that hit uh, one here near Santa Cruz Island, a 2.3 and a 1.7 near uh, Santa Paula, near Ventura, Oxnard in that area. Expecting an earthquake most likely to hit in that area near uh, Santa Paula, Ventura, Thousand Oaks, Simi Valley, that area northwest of LA. And that should hit uh, most likely at about four o'clock in the morning on September 29th, but it could hit any time between now and tomorrow noon. So during the next 12 hours or so. So let's look at the um, forecast graph. And you can see um, we are forecasting a 4.3 to 4.8 on this peak. And there was a 4.4 that hit uh, just southeast of San Diego. This is the peak coming up here at about 4 o'clock in the morning on uh, September 29th. 6.7 to 7. Two earthquake is possible uh, northwest of LA, most likely at around four o'clock in the morning on September 29th. Another peak is coming up here on October 2nd, and that could produce a 4.8. So let's look at, uh, so please uh, warn your friends and family about that. That's coming up very soon. Let's go over the, uh, some of the uh, other forecasts. We'll start with uh, Koalinga. And this is, uh, these peaks are, many times are in sync with other areas of California. Uh, this is a spike in risk on the 28th. However, the, the, the risk in the Los Angeles area is much higher. This is coming up on uh, September 28th today. And now this is a 46% risk on October 1st, 57% on October 2nd, 65 on the 3rd. And a big strong peak here in Coalinga Parkfield area on October 4th. So be aware of that. El Centro, this is a 4.4 on this peak here. Strong earthquake is likely in the morning of October 29th, northwest of LA in this peak. And a 49% risk in the Salton Sea area on October 2nd. Eureka, this is the uh, spike in risk in Eureka right now on the morning of the 29th, 60% risk. So the risk is uh, definitely more near uh, Los Angeles. 90% risk on October 2nd and a very strong peak, well, on both uh, the 2nd and the 4th. So significant earthquakes could occur uh, late on the 2nd and the 3rd and also on the 4th of October in the Eureka area. All right, in uh, Los Angeles, here again is that warning, looking for a 6.7 to 7.2 earthquake as possible uh, northwest of LA. Uh, is most likely to occur right around the Thousand Oaks, uh, Simi Valley area. And uh, it could hit on the Garlock Fault, which runs up from northwest of LA to Ridgecrest, but most likely northwest of LA. Uh, and that's in this map here. You can see the highest focus of risk is northwest of LA. All right, so be prepared for that. Also, Ridgecrest, the risk is very high. Uh, late tonight into tomorrow morning. And uh, that's that spike in risk that's uh, being picked up in the uh, northwest part of uh, LA. And then a 4.8 quake is possible in the Ridgecrest area on October 2nd. A 4.9 is possible on the 3rd. And a strong quake is possible on October 4th in the Ridgecrest area. That's way out in the future. As, a, as, the, uh, as we get closer to this, the, uh, the data gets the data gets better as we get closer. San Francisco, we have a strong peak here on the 28th. 
there was a 3.3 that hit uh, here near Koalinga and a 3.8 that hit northeast, uh, east northeast of San Francisco. Uh, 3.8, actually there was uh, two 3.8s, wow. Uh, near South Lake Tahoe, northeast of San Francisco. And that coincided with this peak here on the 28th. 52% risk on the 30th, 58% on the 2nd, and 68% risk on October 3rd, and a strong peak in risk coming up on October 4th. We'll have more details that, on that as we get closer. And South Lake Tahoe, this spike in risk produced uh, two, two 3.8s and a 2.7 right there, just uh, southeast of South Lake Tahoe there. Um, and that uh, verified that peak right here. This is coming up 54% uh, risk on the 30th and so on. I think we just went over that 63% on the third and a stronger peak on the fourth. Athens, Greece, we had a strong peak on the 27th at about three in the morning and there was a 6.0 earthquake that hit uh, near Athens, Greece, south, actually was down near Crete. Uh, and that was on this spike in risk right here. It, it happened uh, about three hours after that peak. So very, this uh, forecast model is working very well. So 4.5 now is possible on October 1st coming up in the Athens area. And in Tokyo, we had a spike in risk right here, which produced a 4.9. This peak coming up on the 2nd of October could produce a 5.8. And we'll have more details on that as we get closer to that as, uh, as, as well. Once again, in the uh, Los Angeles area, we are looking, let's go back to that uh, LA forecast here. We're looking at a strong earthquake uh, is likely northwest of LA. 6.7 6 to 7.2 earthquake is likely northwest of LA tonight into tomorrow morning, and most likely to hit uh, up near uh, Thousand Oaks, Simi Valley. Let's look at that again real quick here. Um, this is that area that we're looking at right here. Let's zoom in a little farther. And you can see on this uh, risk area, it's focused right there in the in the bend in California right in here. So actually uh, where this uh, quake here hit and this one here, this 1.7 and 2.3, these look like foreshocks to what uh, we're looking for in this area right here uh, where the quake is most likely to occur. Somewhere between Santa Barbara and uh, Los Angeles, somewhere in between there, including the, the warning, includes the area from LA to Ridgecrest, generally speaking, but most likely to occur in the Northwest uh, uh, suburbs here of Calabasas, Simi Valley, Agora Hills, Thousand Oaks, Fillmore, Camarilla, Oxnard, Santa Paula, uh, Ventura, Ojai, that area is the most likely area for this quake to occur. All right, there it is. Strong earthquake coming to the Los Angeles area during the next uh, about 12 hours or so, uh, most likely to hit before noon tomorrow, the 29th. So late tonight, the 28th, or tomorrow, the 29th in the morning is most likely for this quake to occur. And we will talk to you tomorrow after this quake, and we'll give you some more updates. Thanks you, uh, for your support here at quakeprediction.com, and uh, please be safe. Please be prepared for this quake, strong quake uh, in uh, northwest of LA uh, coming soon. Thank you so much, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks.